Well, voting is underway in the first special election for Nebraska voters in 70 years. They'll pick between Democrat Patty Panzing Brooks and Republican Mike Flood to replace convicted Representative Jeff Fortenberry, who resigned earlier this year. Both candidates are preparing for the results tonight, but we start with 3 News Now reporter Alex Whitney, who is live in Norfolk with the flood campaign. Alex. That's right, we are here in Norfolk with the man on the ballot, Mike Flood, the Republican candidate in this race. Mike, it has been a bit of a strange thing with this special election. Usually don't have these here in the summer. How have you been preparing for tonight? Well, it's all about driving turnout. I've been uh, on the phone all day to supporters and just encouraging them to let people know at their place of work, get your friends out to vote. I had a, a great volunteer group in a phone uh, group today at uh, the NEGOP headquarters. Basically, I've been using all sorts of different advertising models to get out there, but most of all, just talking to people, telling them that I really think America needs to go in a new direction. We've got to put the brakes on inflation. We've got to put the brakes on spending. That means firing Nancy Pelosi and getting people out to vote send that message to Washington. Absolutely. And speaking about some of those directions, we've had some big developments politically here in the last couple of weeks. We've had uh, comprehensive gun legislation going through Congress. We've had the big Roe v. Wade decision. Do you think that's been motivating voters to turn out for this election? Well, it just underscores how important it is to pick someone in Congress that can go to work right away. I've got 10 years of legislative experience, six years as the speaker. Uh, but today, what matters is get out and vote. Like if, if you feel strongly about where uh, Nebraska's at, where America's at, Gas prices are really hurting families. Bring down prices. That's what my, my, my focus is, and uh, people have to vote if we're going to do it. Absolutely, and getting out and vote, still something that you guys can do. Polls aren't closing until 8 p.m., so if you haven't had a chance to cast your vote, you still have a little bit of time left. We'll still be here in Norfolk all night keeping up with the candidate and letting you know how the results turn out later tonight. For 3 News Now, I'm Alex Whitney. Thank you, Alex. Facing off against Mike Flood is Patty Panzing Brooks. Third News Now reporter John Kipper shows the platform the Nebraska Democrat hopes to bring to District 1. We've seen a few voters trickle in over the past few minutes in this Sarpy County precinct. Special elections are unique enough in Nebraska, and this one is even more unique for many of these Sarpy County residents who are voting in District 1 for the first time. Gone is Representative Jeff Fortenberry, in is Republican Mike Flood and Democrat Patty Panzing Brooks. Now as for Panzing Brooks, she has represented a legislative district in the heart of Lincoln for eight years and she's running on a largely unifying message with also more liberal issues such as health care access for all and abortion rights. And she told 3 News Now yesterday that people are going to be thinking about the Roe versus Wade reversal when they go to the ballot. Women do not uh, need to be second-class citizens and we've got to really work together so this is the first time in the country that the right to privacy will be on that ballot and I hope that everyone shows up now she also said because it's a special election and these are so unique and odd she has really no idea which voters are gonna turn out today now beginning at 7 o'clock I'm gonna be at the Patty Panzing Brooks campaign party in Lincoln we will be talking to her once results are in on how she feels about everything. Reporting in Sarpy County, John Kipper, 3 News Now. Thanks, Kip. And former Representative Jeff Fortenberry has been sentenced to probation for two years for lying to federal investigators. He also faces 320 hours of community service and $25,000 in fines. Fortenberry was found guilty of three felonies.